Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given system of equations as you can see over here. So we got square root of x times x plus 3y equal to 36. And the second equation is square root of y times 3x plus y equals to 28. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Since we are dealing with these square roots, these radicals, square root of x and square root of y, so therefore we are going to make a substitution. Let me go ahead and make a substitution. I'm going to say let uh, square root of x equals to u, all right? Then uh, this, when we take the square on both sides, so x is going to be u square. And likewise, I'm going to write down square root of y equal to v. Then y is going to be simply v square. Then our this given system of equations could be written as... I can write this one. The first equation could be written as u times u square plus 3v square equal to 36. And likewise, the second equation is going to become v times 3u square plus v square equal to 28. So let me go ahead and call this first equation. I'm going to call this equation number one and this is our equation number two. And in this next step, let's go ahead and distribute these one. We are going to multiply. So this system of equations could be written as u power 3 plus 3u v square equal to 36 and likewise the second equation is going to become 3 u square v plus v power 3 equals to 28 and now i'm going to call this first equation as equation number three and this second equation as number four just keep in your mind and now in this next step, we are going to add these two equations, equation 3 plus equation 4. And if we add them, we are going to get u cube plus 3u square v plus 3u v square plus v power 3 equal to on the right hand side. If we add these number, we are going to get 64. And now here's the formula a plus b power 3. If we use this formula, this left hand side could be written as u plus v power 3 equals to 64. And now in this next step, I can write u plus v power 3 is same on the left hand side. And 64 could be written as 4 power 3 and now let's go ahead and take the cube root on both sides to undo this cubes so i'm going to take the cube root on both side so this cube and cube root is gone likewise this cube and cube root is gone so we got u plus v equal to 4 and now let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number and here's our next step. Let's go ahead and subtract this these equations. Equation 3 minus equation 4. So we are going to get on the left hand side u power 3 minus 3u square v plus 3uv square minus v power 3 equals to 36 minus 28 is going to give us 8. And now we are going to apply this formula. A minus B power 3 
on this given equation. So the left hand side of this equation is going to become u minus v power 3 equals to 8. And now once again the left hand side is going to be same u minus v power 3 equals to this 8 could be written as 2 power 3. And now let's go ahead and undo these cubes. So I'm going to take the cube roots on both sides to undo this cube. This cube root and cube is gone. And likewise this cube and cube root is gone. So we simply got our u minus v turns out to be simply 2. So let's go ahead and call this equation as equation number 6. And now in this next step let's go ahead and put these equation 5 and equation 6 together on the right hand side. I can write u plus v equals to 4 and u minus v equal to 2. And once again the first equation is our equation number 5 and the second one is equation number 6. And in this next step let's go ahead and add these equations 5 and 6. If we add these two equations we are going to get 2u equal to 6. And if we divide both sides by 2 so u turns out to be 3 value. And now we are going to substitute this u equal to 3 value in this equation 5 to get the v value. So let's go ahead and substitute this thing. So we got u plus v equal to 4 is our equation 5. If we replace u by 3 so this become 3 plus v equal to 4 which gives us v equal to 1 value. And now let's focus on this u equal to 3 but we know that u was equal to square root of x so I'm going to replace this one by square root of x equal to 3. So we want to solve for x so let's go ahead and take the square on both sides. That means our x value turns out to be positive 9. And likewise our v equal to square root of y. So this v equals to 1 is going to become square root of y equals to 1. Let's go ahead and take the square on both sides. So this square and square root is gone. So we got y equal to positive 1 value. So thus our solution turns out to be x equal to 9 and y equal to 1 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.